so it is Thursday. I just got done uploading my almost two hour, well, it's an hour and 30 minute vlog. It's a two week vlog, so it's two weeks in one. Um, so yeah, that literally took me all day yesterday to do, literally all day. I had so many te te technical difficulties, but it's up and <sighs> I'm happy I got it done with <laughs> and I'm happy it's done but my cleaners are here right now because it is that time um, where I need to get my house clean you guys know they come about twice a month um, so they're here so I'm letting them clean right now I don't want to be in their way um, and uh, I need to get some filming done my hair is sitting in oil right now so that's why it looks like that i took my the long braid out because well, it was tight on my head it lasted me a good five days it could have lasted longer but y'all my head can't take it my head is very tender because i'm not used to having stuff super super tight in my head and i'm not used to having things really done to my hair so yeah i couldn't do it anymore um but um yeah i have some stuff i have to film once they oh my gosh that was a big ass lizard gecko whatever the fuck that was whoa <laughs> yikes um yeah so i have some stuff i have to film but i'm going to wait until they get done cleaning and um i have to run out because i need to get some house things like trash bags amount of trash bags um and yeah just have some filming to do today and that's pretty much it i want to get things done because i'll probably be heading to miami this weekend again and i want to make sure i have everything done the house is clean and all of that before i go have my work done and yeah let's see if my mom answers this is my second time calling her today and she ain't answered the first time i gave her an hour to spare She's still not answering. Like, girl, what is you doing? <laughs> what is you doing? Get down, Lily. Let me call her regular. Huh? Um, I've called you twice on Messenger. Yeah. I know. We're trying to get our taxes done. We're looking for the, uh, the place. Let me call you back because I gotta uh, look at the address. Okay, love you, bye. All right, love you, bye. bye. She lucky she was busy. <laughs> Cause, no. My mama always answer the phone. Get down. I don't know why this dog wanna keep getting up here with me. It's not space for two. <laughs> you just wanna go inside so bad and be, oh my God, look at those slides, y'all. Look at all that pollen. You just wanna go inside so bad and bother them while they cleaning, Louie. Louie. <laughs> y'all, it's the get-go again. Oh my gosh, it was just brown. Unless it's a different one. Oh my gosh, this is, I'm getting entire, oh. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Louis, look at it. Look, Louis. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Louis, look. Look, Louis, look. Louis, oh my gosh, ew. Louis, look. Louis, Louis, go get it. Louis, look. Look, Louis. Look. Oh. <laughs> No, Louie, no, no, no. <laughs> Ew. Oh, now my mama wanna call me. Now you wanna call me and answer my phone call. First of all, I did not call you, I called mama. You don't never call me, but that's all right, you was busy. Oh, what y'all doing? Just finished our test. Just finished our test. Let's go get some boba tea at this place called Honey Bubble. I've always rode past it and never went. So I'm about to go in there and get some. It looks like a really cute boba tea place. So yeah, let's go.
see how it's tasting. I don't like how it just came with a regular top. It's good. But the ones by my nail salon, way better. Way better. I love the boba. So good, but I would rather the tea milk consistency. I would rather the one next to my nail salon. Go, no. but anyways, I'm about to go to Sephora because I asked you guys where some good products to get, for like the body and stuff. So I'm about to go get a couple of the items y'all told me about. Then I gotta go get my home stuff. And then I gotta go back home and get ready because the girls are coming over tonight. We're just gonna do like a little get together at my house, something chill, hookah, drinks. I don't know if I'm gonna cook or order food. Um, I honestly don't feel like cooking. I ain't even gonna lie. So I might order some pizza and some wings. But yeah. Let's go. <laughs> I'm literally in the bed. So, um, I have this bandaid right here because I burned myself, y'all. Like, I literally burned myself. Um, I had my steamer on the other day, and I burned myself with my steamer that you get your wrinkles out with your clothes. Yeah, it burned, sis. Like, really burned me. Um, yeah, it really burned me. So, I'm hoping that I don't have a scar. I'm really hoping it doesn't leave me a scar, but I'm waiting for it to like scab up so I can start putting like cocoa butter on it and you know, um, products that will help with the scarring and the darkness of it. So yeah, it's giving very much ugly right now. But um, yeah, I ended up at this fucking ratchet ass strip club called Platinum. If y'all are in Atlanta, y'all might know what Platinum is. I ended up there with one of my homeboys. Like, he always outside and he randomly called me and I was on my way home. I was done with everything for the day, like I told y'all. And um, I was on my way home. He called me and I was like, it's right by my house. So well, let me go. Um, so I went there and then Kiki and Kayla pulled up and um, we were all supposed to go to my house. And we were supposed to have like a little girls night there, but we ended up having a girls night at Platinum. But we ended up going to my house after and just chilled there and talked there as well. But um, yeah, I'm showered, so moisturized and I feel amazing. I smell good. Like I used some of my new products that I got from Sephora today. I'll show you tomorrow. And my skin right now is literally glowing like the camera's not really getting it to be honest but it's because i'm on my phone because my volume camera's downstairs <laughs> but um yeah i'll show it tomorrow and i love it i got a new perfume and it's gonna be like my new nighttime smell mm, i smell so good i wish someone was laying next to me <laughs> just so they could smell me but um yeah i'm about to um do some stuff on my computer until I fall asleep. But yeah, see y'all tomorrow. So I'm sitting here going over the video that I just filmed. Um, I'm actually not gonna be able to get my lashes done today because I had to get this work done and um, I wasn't able to make it in time. So it's okay, my lashes don't look bad. Like they still look really good. I'm really tripping. I'm just that extra when it comes to my lashes. Like I just want them done like every day. <laughs> Um, like that's just how I am, but I'm sitting here just going over this. I'm about to take my laptop, um, to the nail shop so I can start editing these while I'm sitting there, um, in the nail shop once my nails are done. Um, cause normally like, uh, normally I'm just waiting for my toes to always be done. So I'm going to do that while I'm at the nail shop, get as much done as I can just because I have so much more to do today and I want to make sure this is all finished so I don't have to work while I'm in Miami and, um, yeah, I'm about to just look at this for like the next five minutes and then I'm going to leave for my nail appointment because it's at five. So, yeah, um, I'm looking at the video and I'm like, I'm OK with it, but I kind of wish I positioned the camera a little bit different, a little bit higher. 
but I'm just trying new areas. I'm trying to switch it up a bit and give y'all a different environment um, for videos. So I'm just working and trying to figure out different places um, in my house that I can use instead of what I'm always in the background of. So yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but let me get back to this so I can get this done and then head on the road to my appointment. traffic but hmm Ooh. damn I should have gone off the exit hello hold on huh your appointment is canceled no it's not yes it is I'm coming Bree, it, it looks like, and it sounds like you're like 20 minutes away. No, the nail shop's not even that far. Okay. I'm really going to be there in five minutes. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fuck. See, you know you be lying when you're really close, but it shouldn't take me that long because it looked like the traffic just started right here, but I knew I should have got off that exit. And my nose is all dry. I don't know why. Look at this, y'all. Oh my gosh, I'm really on fire. But I need to hurry up. I don't even know why I'm trying to vlog and drive because I got somewhere to be. And oh my gosh, something's really on fire. Y'all see it over there? Oh, come on, y'all. I want to be nosy. It's going to take me 10 minutes just to get up there. I'm really not even that far. That's the crazy thing about it. But I hope everybody... I hope everybody is okay. I really hope everyone is okay. Oh my goodness. I'm about to do what they do and like get up here so I can cut the line. You know? So I can cut the line. Oh my gosh, it's really on fire. Like really on fire. Like really. Oh my gosh, what is that? This ain't even getting over. Come on, get over. Oh my goodness. Well, y'all, oh, it was like a, a van. All right, well, I need to drive y'all, so I got somewhere to be. Y'all see what happened. I hope everybody's okay. Like, no ambulances here. It's just the fire trucks. So, hopefully, you know, people were able to get out. But it's like, how does a car? That's scary. That's really scary. Girl, hey. What? Hey, it's my hey, boo. How are you? <laughs> Hi. I missed you last time. You look so cute and pretty. What? What? No. Yeah, you. 
Just because you want a vlogging oh vlog <laughs> and do your little promo videos. There was a whole truck on fire, y'all. Oh my goodness, I got this damn ponytail so damn tight. Ah! <laughs> ah! Kidding. No, I'm not kidding, but God dang. Anyways, I am sitting here finishing this video. Well, I just finished it and I sent it to my manager to get approved. So now I'm on to my second video. Um, I still haven't packed for Miami, so it's not going to take me long to do the other video. Um, so after I'm done with that, I am going to start packing for Miami and get myself ready for bed because y'all, I am tired. I don't know if it's this damn ponytail that's making me tired or <laughs> I'm just tired. No, I'm really tired. I've been running around all day. You want to say hi, Dudu? You want to say hi? No. No, you're not jumping up here. No. I just want to kiss. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm about to do. And um, get down. Get down. But, yeah, I'm about to do that. I'm probably about to make me some tea because I just need some tea. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> My head hurts. <laughs> He's like, what's wrong, mom? What's wrong, mom? What's wrong, mommy? What's wrong, mommy? What's wrong, mommy? What's wrong, mommy? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So if I don't catch out tonight, I'm going to catch out tomorrow. My flight is at 2. And so... Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> I will catch out. Most likely tomorrow. I actually did want to show you guys these that I picked up. You guys probably saw them in my story, but... I picked these up from Target today. Busting, okay? I first started out with the cookie dough ones, but I'm not really a big fan of the chocolate in it, which was just plain. And these sugar cookie ones are it, y'all. They're so soft. They're so good. I love sugar cookies. I love me some sugar cookie. Anytime I'm buying cookies, sugar cookie me, okay? Love these. So good. It's a new flavor, the sugar cookie. Snackable dough by Ben and Jerry's. And I always get these at Target. Yeah. Okay, bye. All right, so let me show y'all what I got from Sephora yesterday. Because you guys know I asked you to tell me some things to get. So this product actually I put on my store today. And nobody told me to get this product, but I decided to pick it up. And this is the Sephora brand um, Glow Body Cream with Moringa, Moringa oil in it. When I tell you this is very moisturizing and it makes your skin have such a natural, nice glow. And my body skin felt like a new layer of skin when I got out the shower yesterday. And it does have like a shimmer to it, like a little pink shimmer to it when you like have it really in the light. But it's nothing like glitter and it's just like a nice subtle shine and glow to the body like this would be perfect for an everyday uh, summer outing you're wearing a tank top wearing shorts your feet are out and the sun is shining on you you are going to look so glowy and so naturally radiant definitely would pick this up i believe this is only 17 dollars and then i picked up this right here this is the hold on now. this is the nest madagascar Madagascar Vanilla Oil Perfume. And oil-based perfumes always last longer than a regular body spray or regular perfume. And this is actually a dropper. You guys can see the dropper on the inside. So you just drop it on your wrist, rub it together, and kind of just go like this on your neck, anywhere else that on your arms maybe. But you want to make sure it's really rubbed into your skin if you are to go like this on your clothes because you do not want to get the oil on your clothes and mess up and stain your clothes, sis, okay? I don't know about y'all, but I hate an oil stain because... Baby, them stains be so hard to get out and sometimes it's just ruined. But if you get a fast enough tip, go ahead and put you some Dawn soap on there. Scrub it a little bit. Let it sit for a couple hours and throw it in the washing machine and you'll be good. Don't tell me. Don't say I ain't never helped y'all. But I picked that up. And then I also picked up this right here. This is the Skin Fix 
Glyconic Renewing Scrub, Resurfacing Scrub. Um, it's a pre-shower and in-shower chemical and manual exfoliator. So, um, I didn't really read on how to use it before I got in the shower because I thought exfoliator, you get in the shower, wash your body, scrub, whatever the case may be. But I think, well, then I went and looked at the reviews after I got out of the shower and I was in the bed because I was like, you know what? I paid $34, something like that for that. And it did not do what I thought it would do. Like, it could have stayed in the store. But... I honestly think it's a pre it says everyone in the reviews and it, it, it even says it on the box that it's a pre scrub before you take a shower so I guess you do it before you actually get wet and um, I didn't do it so next time I get it so when I get in the shower tonight I'm going to do it that way and see how it is but um, I hope it works because Aaliyah Tasha and so many more of you guys um, under the question on my Instagram post on my story told me to pick it up and y'all really high it was like one of the most highly recommended things so I'm gonna retry it but if not maybe my skin just a little already soft y'all maybe <laughs> maybe your sis don't even need it and it didn't work right or I just didn't use it right so I'm gonna try it again <laughs> and then I'm gonna tell y'all how it worked and then I also picked up this right here because I just love body scrubs and I was like you know what let me just get two just because just because one might not really work so I picked up this Sephora body scrub right here this was $17 and this is a sugar body scrub and I really like this one because it had oils in it and it made my skin really really soft after I used both of the scrubs but this is the one I used last and I definitely felt like I felt like this worked and I made my skin soft but honestly and it's $17 I don't know if I said that already but honestly y'all this one here is hands down my favorite body scrub. This one is, I'm in my shower. This one right here is my hands down favorite body scrub. This is the Lavender Salt Scrub from Trader Joe's. I believe it's like $4.99. And um, when I tell you, you don't have to put lotion on, you don't have to put um, oil on after you get out the shower. All you have to do is dry your body. Your body's already shining. It's already glowing. It's already moisturized, smelling good. Okay, but I like to try new products. So, Definitely check out the Trader Joe one or the Sephora one if you want to just try something new and you haven't tried the Trader Joe's one out. But I definitely have had that one on my channel quite a few times, so I'm pretty sure I am. I do know some of you guys have picked it up because you guys have told me. But yeah, those are the products that I got from Trader. I mean, from um, Sephora. Um, I also picked up this Sephora hydrating balm. It was five dollars. It was in the line. You know, when the line gets you with little nicks and knacks that you don't need. But I got this. $5 and it really could have stayed in the store for the $5 it is. It's um giving Aquaphor type of feeling, but Aquaphor is better. And if you put too much, it kind of gives like the whiteness, the white ring on your face, on your lips. And sis, we don't like white lips, okay? But y'all, I'm about to start packing and get ready. Oh, let me not forget to tell y'all about this too. I got this in PR today, the Fenty Body Whipped Body Cream, y'all. So nice on the hands. I haven't tried it all over my body yet, so I don't know how the moisturize. I don't know how the moisture is gonna last, the hydration is gonna last on me. I always wash my hands, so I couldn't really see how long the moisture lasted on my skin, on my hands. But um, when I put it on, instantly shine, instantly glow. So that's all good, but it's, is it hydrating, you know? But all of Rihanna's products, all of her skin products for her face have all been hydrating, super hydrating. So I believe that that would be hydrating as well, but I'll give y'all an update on that once I wash my body as well. But let me get to packing. My computer's charging, so I'm not editing that video right now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get to packing. And if I don't see y'all tonight, baby, sorry, I'm tired. I will see y'all tomorrow morning. Yes, I wear a bonnet. <laughs> I saw a post and it was like, um, some about, you don't wear a bonnet for real. It's that motherfucking leaning. My shit be mm, mm, mm. leaning like a motherfucker. Okay? <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> but y'all, I just got the shower. Um, about to get ready to catch my flight to Miami. I'm gonna call my mom all morning and handling some other business that somebody was trying me with these um businesses. But uh yeah so uh i just want to get up here and say happy saturday fresh and so clean clean um but about to do the skincare routine i can't even take myself serious y'all ain't never seen me in a bonnet a lot of people ain't seen me in a bonnet because 
these things don't ever stay on my head, but I put this on with a shower cap when I get in the shower. Um, when my hair is like straight or styled, you know, I got my pony. But um, yeah, let me hurry up because I'm already running a little late, y'all. So it is currently 4.56. My flight was originally at 2.54. Let me give y'all the rundown, okay? Just know sis is not happy. So I drove to the airport because um, I live pretty close. I was already running a little bit late, so I was like, I'm gonna drive because if I wait for an Uber, I'm probably not gonna make it, which I probably should just book the fucking Uber. So I got here and the lot is full. The parking lot is full. So they tell you, told me to go to the other parking lot on the other side, because I was at the south, then I went to north and they were both full. Then they said like, to go to the west. The west is so far, like, I have to check a bag. So I got there and I was like, you know what? There's no point. I'm literally not gonna make it. No matter how fast I fucking run, like I'm not gonna make it. So like I said, I left pretty close to the airport. I wasn't even tripping cause whatever. I was like, they have another flight at 4.30. Perfect, gets me time to go home, park my car and wait for my Uber. So now I'm doing good on time. Then I get to the airport and um, I'm going to check my bag and also get a new flight because you know I missed the first the first one. They wanted to take fucking forever. There was two people at the check-in bag place. They wanted to take forever. Literally, it, like, if they didn't move so slow and if there was, if y'all just would have seen it, I would have been able to make it. But y'all, now my flight isn't until 6.15. Now my flight isn't until 6.15 and it's five o'clock. It's five o'clock. And then I don't, I don't land until 8.18 and I have dinner reservations at 9.30. So I have to rush to get ready. Finally about to board. I just ate some pizza over there. Group four I customers are welcome that to join the boarding line. Group four. But time has finally gone. I'm about to board. Not Miami, here we come again. Through the main boarding lane closest go. to me at the podium, group five, you're welcome to board. Let's gotta go. Hi guys. So it is currently Monday, May 10th, day after Mother's Day. I am at my parents' house. Um, as you guys may have known from watching or saw from watching my story, I was recently in Miami for the last couple of days. So I, um, after I was done with my festivities in Miami, I decided to come and visit my parents because my parents live in Florida as well. Um, well, really visit my mom and Nana because um, because it was Mother's Day yesterday. So I got here yesterday and we just spent some time together, quality time together. And um, we were doing the same thing today. I actually just took them out to lunch today. Um, we did like a whole family thing yesterday, but today was just me and my Nana. So we did that today. We had us some sushi. <sighs> so good. We went to this place called Bean Sprouts out here in um, Melbourne because my parents live in Melbourne, Florida. And um, that's where we went. That's like one of the best sushi places out here that I've been to that I know of. There's not much out here. So yeah, that's one of the only places. Um, and yeah, so we're just chilling at the house right now. I'm actually working on a video, editing it right now. Um, well, this vlog. And um, this vlog is kind of going to be another like two week vlog two week old vlog um i was in miami for like a whole week pretty much i came home for like a day or two and then i went back and um yeah i just i didn't vlog i feel like whenever i go to miami i never vlog and it's because i'm like literally on the run and on the go like i'm just always doing something and i'm like in the moment and i don't pick up my phone like i don't do nothing i have like no memories because i'm just having so much fun and yeah i just am terrible vlogging when i'm in miami um like i literally bring my camera every time and i never turn it on i never turn it on and i think also because like i said i'm always on the go i'm rushing and stuff so it's like i don't i don't know y'all but i gotta get better i know i'm no i'm terrible but i had so much fun in miami like i went to live oh my god y'all this is my second time going to live the first time i went to live was i think in 2019 and I was like, really? This is what live is? Like, this is what live is? Like, this is what everyone is hype over? I was like, eh. But this time, y'all, when I tell you, a girl had a ball 
your girl had a ball i had a blast okay like i was in live for a minute like when i tell you we didn't leave live until maybe like 4 a.m y'all it was a lit night okay it was just a lit time the whole time i was there and then the next day um we got on the yacht and it was so so much fun another lit day like when i tell you when i get back home tomorrow because my flight's at 1 30 and i'm leaving to go back home tomorrow i am going on a cleanse like i really want you to hold me to it like i want no more alcohol like i have do y'all like what what is this is because i'm drinking so much fucking alcohol um so i am going on a water cleanse and um i'm really about to get myself back in the gym because i ain't trying to gain weight y'all and i keep telling y'all this and i have yet to get in the gym but i'm so serious when i get back home i am cleansing this body okay because these pimples right here ain't cutting it for me no it's literally the i feel like these are telling me to sit my ass down okay um but i don't even regret it because i had so much fun so so much fun and the boat was so fun y'all like we were on the jet skis i'm for one i'm so sore like i feel like my arms like i did like an arm workout my arms are so sore and i know it's from the jet skis and then i also jumped off of the yacht two-story yacht why <laughs> now that i'm thinking about it i was really on a two-story yacht and i jumped off the bottom first and then i was like you know what that was babyish that was like a baby jump let me like really jump off the top of the yacht yeah that shit fucked me up that shit fucked me up like and i tell you it felt like the way i jumped in was a terrible jump for one but i used to get whoopings going up <laughs> and when i tell you it felt like every whooping that i got growing up in one mm -hmm. literally felt like that but i took it like a g <laughs> Um, definitely got bruises on me, but hey, it's part of having fun, right? Um, but yeah, I had a ball that day, like a blast, but that was my last day in Miami. When I tell you, I couldn't even do nothing the rest of the day. Like, I was so, the boat wore me out. Like, by the time we got off the boat, I wasn't even, like, drunk anymore. Like, we had been on the boat for a good couple of hours, and um, I was just so tired at that point. Like, I feel like I haven't slept all week. Like, I feel like I've been out every day, damn near um but i love miami like i love miami so much so i don't even mind but um yeah that was my week my this whole week that i pretty much have been i've kind of been active but not really but it's because i've been in miami just having a ball having a ball um it feels so good out here right now it's like so peaceful but yeah, so I'm just working on this video. My Nana's inside making one some of my egg rolls that I really, really love that she makes. She's making me some egg rolls. And um, I was going to get in my parents' pool, but I got to work on this video before I do that because I want to post it today. Um, it's pretty much already edited. I just have to do this part that I'm filming right now, and then I'm looking for my music for certain parts of the video. But um, I am ready to get back home, get back on schedule, get my baby Louie. Can't wait to see my boo boo. And um, just get back on schedule. Like, I am writing stuff down. Like, I need to. I have so much work coming up that's due. Like, I have so much content due. Like, sis. So much content. But I can't even. I'm not even mad at it because I'm blessed. Um, so much work that has come in, which is just amazing um and yeah i just want to get back on the schedule i have so much to get done i need to get stuff in my house like i need to go grocery shopping healthy grocery shopping um, i need to get my truck washed i just have a lot of stuff i need to get done like household things before i forget that top that i had on in my instagram picture well I'll upload it right here I finally I didn't know the brand of it because I had when I posted the picture I was out already and um I didn't know the brand at the top but I believe I got it on my and um her name I found the brand and then I sent it to who I don't know who runs Brianna Monique's closet I have no idea who runs that channel I mean runs that page but she's always on point or he is always on point with my clothes 
but that top was harder to find so once I found it I told them um, and the top is by Savannah Morrow the label so yeah uh, I think I got it on like mytoresa.com and people were like is that just like a regular scarf I'm like girl that way ain't no regular scarf like I don't even think a regular scarf comes with two pieces I don't know but it's not a scarf well I mean it might could be a scarf but it was a shirt um so I'm just sitting here thinking about my clothes now and I'm like I'm never gonna wear that again should I sell it or should I just hold on to it like I always do I'm never wearing that top again for one I had to be so careful wearing that top I that's the top I wore to live I had to be so careful wearing it because like my boobs were gonna come out and I put on boob tape but y'all I had put oil on my body and that tape was not sticking so what I did was I just got some um like body tape that's kind of similar color to my skin tone and I just like put it over my nipple just in case a nip slip happened you're not seeing like the full boob the nipple so um I just had to be very careful with that top but the top was so bomb I got so many compliments on it it was worth it <laughs> but um yeah that's where I got that top from so bomb and I don't think it was expensive either I think it was like $100 so yeah I loved it but um yeah I can't wait to get back home get on track y'all and get back to work because this has been I literally was in Miami for like a whole week I came I left to go to Miami I think on last Saturday of last week not this past Saturday the Saturday before that and I was there until I think Tuesday no I think I came back on Wednesday of that last week and then I left oh no I came back on Tuesday and then I left on Thursday night yeah I left on Thursday night and went back to Miami and I left for Miami yesterday on Sunday so I literally was back home for like a day and a half so I haven't seen my baby Louie since last since last Saturday no yeah last Saturday I haven't seen my baby Louie since then because I was gonna get him the day I got back but the people that watch him have, was working and they ended up it ended up being late so I was like just bring him tomorrow and then um I found out I was going back to Miami and um I was just, I just had told them to keep him because I was going to be gone again. There was no point in bringing him back. So I can't wait to see my baby Lulu. I can't wait. But <sighs> yeah, y'all. Back to Atlanta tomorrow. It's supposed to be raining. I'm like, eh. But I have to get back to work, get back to reality. Like, I went on like a mini Miami vacay, I feel like. But um, I'm always in Miami. So, like I told y'all, I love it there. <laughs> Got Nana in the kitchen making her famous egg rolls. Yeah, I might do it and I make you do it too. Huh? Do it. Oh, you gonna show me so I don't have to so I don't have to have a request when I come next time. Uh, no, <laughs> you gonna be in the kitchen making them. <laughs> <laughs> what you making, mommy? I'm making um, chocolate covered peanut butter um, bananas. I gotta freeze these and then. Melt the chocolate and then, but I'm gonna use um, oh, almond. Shoot, I'm gonna use almond. <laughs> I'm gonna use almond butter and dark chocolate. So it's my oh, okay. Dessert. This is smelling good. But beef, right, Nana? Mm -hmm. Beef. 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 <laughs> beef. <laughs> it smells delicious. Delicious. Let's see what my brother's doing. What do you want, bruh? Oh my god. Are you going in the video? Yeah, sure! You're so annoying. <laughs> yeah, sure. You want a phone? No. Like. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to restart my game. What? Yeah, I'm trying to This is what you do all day, huh? Nah, I hoop. And I drive around town when I'm bored. Don't get a room, because you know it's a little. So that you know. Yeah, so I ain't gonna turn the camera around. Appreciate that, appreciate that. Okay, I'm gonna leave you alone. 
So yeah, I'm just spending some time with the family. <laughs> and before I leave tomorrow, like look, why is this in the middle of the house? They be playing with my brother and my dad. Mom? I don't know where she went. She always disappearing. Where'd mommy go? Probably in the fr freezer outside. I got a wedgie from this bodysuit, y'all. This one's not as bad as the other ones. The other bodysuits, wedgie. Oh, look who walks in. Hey, Mom. Hey. <laughs> How are you doing? Okay, you? All right. What's his name again, Mark? Hey, hey. What was his name again? Who? Hmm. Dennis. What was it? Dennis the Menace. Dennis the Menace. Don't break my camera, please. Probably already been break. Please don't break my camera. You got more white potatoes? Hey. What? You just, it's your video where you gotta pay your fees. It's always I gotta pay something. I always gotta pay. No. Let me help. Cause you said what now? That's all you gotta do. Now if you get on that side, we can share the bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me wash my hands. But you need another a plate or something. Okay. Let me help so I can eat faster. Okay. You need some of these. Just put them on your plate. Mm -hmm. And then you just peel one. You can. Okay. Let me show you. Okay. You go mm -hmm. like this with the water just like that. So, do I do it and now? You, you take a bit of meat. Well, you're doing your first one, so your top one is a little bit of, and you pat it down, stretch it. Right there. It all depends on how much you want on it. It's arts and crafts. Okay. And then all you have to do is roll it up. So do I wet this way, because there's more yeah, under here? You, yeah, you only do one, <laughs> and then you... Basically, we need another board, so you can... Yeah, that's what I was saying. See that board over there? I can just do the plate, right? Yeah. So take one, like this. Wet it. Is that one? Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, see, you just wasting them. This is two. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this is one. No, Brian, there's two. Mm. You see how thick it is? It's supposed to be oh, thick. You're right. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm right. Ooh. How long have you been having a When you're making them so you know, many times, you know the thickness. <laughs> but yours are too thick. There's two in it. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now get some meat. Yeah, you just grab a bit of meat. Don't overdo it now because you won't be getting many egg rolls. And if you want to eat plenty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, like that, just stretch it. Like this? Yeah. yeah just pat it and then just go like that. No. Yeah, right there. There you go. You flatten it out a little bit. Now see what I do with mine. After I finish doing them all, mm -hmm. to make more, you just cut them with the scissors. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you can freeze them and bring them out whenever you want. Mm -hmm. You can do some with chicken, pork. Oh, what is it you don't eat? Pork. Pork, yeah. There we go. Yeah. See? 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 Right there. Well, like that. We get more on the thing. Okay. We're going to come back when yeah, but they're not, done. We don't, we don't have to yeah. So we just cut them up. Looks like we have a lot of them now. Now what? No, but don't we got to fry them?
Once you gotta get me in the post. Oh, yeah, you, you wanna make some good video, you gotta get me in the post. No, because you're gonna break my camera. So, what do we need now, honey? You ready to eat? When you're ready to eat, they can be cooked. So I'm ready to eat now. I wanna cook them now. You should have known that, Mom. Did you just eat sushi? <laughs> like two hours ago. No. Yes, it was like two hours ago. Y'all didn't bring us no sushi back? No. Yeah, that's what's going on. Talk about me. Talk about me. So now we need the pan, right? Mm-hmm. And so we can fry them. You want me to... I need the big pan. Yeah, there's a big frying pan used. The big frying pan? Yeah, the asparagus. That's all right, I'll use the next one. The asparagus are in there. You want the um the fryer? We're about to whip it up. Whip it up. Test me. Yeah, I just dropped this. What did you want your phone? This. You think it's gonna bust while opening? Yeah. Um, is it, can you still hear it? Yeah. Um, yeah, don't, yeah, see? Just leave it. Let you it think it's going to explode? No. Just hold it down a minute. And open it's it It's going to come out, yeah. I'm going to open it. <laughs> I thought you were running away. Oh, it didn't even bust. We need a straw, though. Raspberry, no, raspberry hibiscus sparkling water. This was from Target 2. I don't think it's the same brand that I've been showing y'all on my last vlog. This one's really good. Mm -hmm. The one that I have though, it's like a ginger peach or mango ginger peach, something like that with ginger in it. And I like it because it's not too gingery. It's a glare. V8 is the Huh? Huh? V8. I V8 makes a sparkling drink? <laughs> I say BH, I drink. Welcome back. The banana and the... Um... <laughs> oh, is that a sparkling drink? Oh, no. uh, you talking about the water. Oh, no, I can't drink. Um, no, it's what like a, talking about? It's like a uh, hydrate. Um, you got any in your freezer? Uh -huh. Come on, come on. I need to get some of those too. I have to get some more. Mm. Yeah, that one's good. So, let's see how far we're getting with the cooking. Nana's got the pan with the oil. She used pure vegetable oil. Vegetable. 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 Okay, cooking. <laughs> I need my apron, right? <laughs> okay. And how long do you normally just until they get like golden? Turn them over. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're, doing, if you're deep frying, you don't yeah. need to do that. Me and um, Kylie had made some, I think we made some buffalo. Yeah, we had made some buffalo chicken egg rolls one day. They were really good. Mm -hmm. We followed this one recipe. Um, and we made like, a, I think it was like a tzatziki, tzatziki sauce or something. Oh, it was so good. Mm -hmm. But they were like thicker egg rolls though. But Kylie can make some real good, like, they're chicken, vegetable, um, egg rolls. Ooh. She should make them. So good. Mm -hmm. 
I I make empanadas. She's never. I don't think she's ever. I'm, I've made empanadas before. They're so oh, good. Okay. I can make me some empanadas. Okay, so which one you make? What what? The goya. I know, but sure. what jam meat? Oh, I just use um chicken. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. No, I'm lying. I use ground beef. Did I use chicken or ground beef? No, I did ground. Yeah, I did ground beef with some of them with cheese, some of them without cheese. I don't think I've made. I don't think I've done the chicken ones yet. Um, have I done the ground chicken? I might have. Or I might have done... No, I think I just did the ground turkey meat. I can make some good empanadas. They'd be so golden and crisp. And you cook them in the air fryer? Uh-uh. I've never done it in the air fryer, but I just did it in like a pan, but a deeper pan, kind of. Yeah. What you got to do, I'm flip them quick, because you can burn them easily. Yeah. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Good. I wish you could try this right now. Look at this. Look at how crispy and golden it is. Mm, hot. <laughs> so hot. I like to dip it in sriracha sauce or like a sweet chili, but mainly sriracha. So good. And these be busting cold. Mm. First of all, Oh, it was alright if I had one. Try. <laughs> Nana made them for me. Did she, did she ask? She did not ask if she could have one. Mm. Egg roll, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> You're being cut. <caught. laughs> mm. mm. yeah. You better enjoy it. I'm the only one to get. Mm. I'm just kidding. Mm, they good, right? They be good. I like them cold too. They be good cold. Wait, room temperature. On the plane. I am. I'm gonna have it right in my carry on. I'm gonna be munching. Ooh, can't wait. Can't wait. So we got the finished egg rolls. We still got some cooking. Y'all already have one, but ooh, I'm taking some on the plane, y'all. I can't wait. So good. Thank you, Nana. Oh, you're Love welcome. You. <laughs>